In this video, we're going to learn weighted version of Burnside uh, lemma. So let me recall you what Burnside lemma is. So Burnside lemma states uh, as follows. So G is a group acts on a set X then then the number of orbits is equal to 1 over G a sum summation G in G and the size of the ele elements in X fixed by this el group element G okay and uh, let's see this example. G is a rotation group. It's a group of rotations of a square. And X is the colorings of the vertices of a square with black and white. We don't specify the number of blacks, black vertices, and the number of white vertices. Uh, we can use Burnside lemma to prove this. But uh, if you do this, then there are um, six orbits if you use Burnside lemma. Using Burnside lemma, you can check this. And actually, let me list them all. Uh, let me draw them all. Uh, all distinct uh, representatives of the orbit. So B, 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 W. B, B, W, W. B, B, W, W. B, W, W, W. And W, 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 W. So there are six orbits, and each of these uh, represents one of the orbits. Okay? But we want to know more information than just the number of uh, orbits. So among these orbits, there are So there is one uh, one object, one object with four black vertices, four Bs and zero uh, white, and so one object with three Bs and one W, and there are two objects with two Bs and two w's there are one object with one b and three w's and there is one object with zero b and uh, four w's so in total we have a six object in so we want to keep uh, keep this information because it tells us more more than just the, there are six orbits so we will record this as follows so here because there are four b's and zero w's we will write this like b to the fourth and w to the zero and there is only one object so we multiply one like this here there is one uh, orbit with three Bs and one W. And there, there are two uh, orbits with B squared, W squared, two Bs, W two Ws. There is one object with one B and three Ws. And there is one object with zero Bs and four Ws. So, so we record 
this information using weight sum so these are uh, these are called a uh, weight so weight is uh, assigning some uh, some quantity to each object all right so for instance like like this 1 times b to the fourth 0 to the 0 1 times b is cubed w is to the 1 to b squared w squared so it's a weight sum or generating function kind of this weight sum weight sum or uh, weight enumerator all right but we want to have weight uh, to satisfy certain property so let me define this uh, as follows so G X on X and our weight uh, is a function that uh, assigns a, cer a certain quantity. to each element uh, x so like a so certain quantity will be denoted weight of x like this such that but we want to have uh, okay such that we want to have this property weight of x is equal to weight of g bar of x for all group element g because here for instance here if we rotate this we will get something else but we, st we still want to have the same number of b's and the same number of w's that's the only requirement for the weight all right so in the previous example in the previous example weight is b to the number of black bodices this is blacks in x times w to the number of white uh, in x and this is easily seen uh, to satisfy the condition. It doesn't is invariant under the rotation or group action. All right. So, so the thing is, we want to compute not just the number of orbits, but we want to know the weight sum of the orbit or weight enumerator. Okay. Oh, by the way, uh, since G, um, okay. For every two elements in one orbit, so it's an orbit, we have um, the weight of X is equal to weight of Y. Since we have this, we define the weight of the orbit to be a uh, weight of x for some x in the orbit. Okay. All right. Now the theorem is this is the theorem is the 
weighted version of bonsai um, lemma. Okay. The theorem is like this: so G acts on x, and with a weight function. Wt, we have weight function. Then uh, the weight enumerator, weight generating function or weight enumerator is so the weight enumerator is by definition we sum over all orbits, sum over all orbits, and take the sum of the weight weight function of the orbits. This is equal to 1 over g cardinality and summation for all g and then we take the sum of all fixed point, all the elements fixed by this group action g and weight of g. Okay. So this is the theorem. And note, if we define the weight function to be always 1, then we get Burnside lemma. So this is a weighted version and it's more general than Burnside lemma. <laughs> Alright, the proof is uh, very similar to the proof of the Burnside lemma, so I'm I leave this to you. I'm not going to prove this, and you can do this by looking at the proof of Burnside lemma. Let me uh, show you how to apply this. So, example, we consider the same example. So, row G is the rotation group of a square, so 90 degree rotation and 180 to 70 and x is the colorings of the vertices of a square with black and white. Then the weight enumerator then is equal to by the theorem above g let me write this okay so the size so we look at this formula over here so the size of g is 4 and summation uh, and there are in this summation there are There are four uh, elements. So the first element is the identity element. We compute this. There are four sums. X is in fix uh, row squared. And finally, this. So we need to compute uh, these four things. So let's say this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, and this is 4. So what is 1? So for 1, we of uh, what is this set? Fix of E. The elements fixed by the identity uh, identity rotation. That means we don't do anything on this element, so it will be fixed anyway. So it is everything. So it's basically uh, sum over all x, weight sum of x.
okay so let's look at the di uh, the picture here so here we want to put w or black we, here we want to color this vertex black or white here black or white black or white and black or white and for every vertex we have two choices b or w so the weight sum will be here uh, weight sum will be b plus w to the fourth this weight sum the second for the second this is fix weight so we want to compute this but now uh, we want to have the same color coloring after rotating this that means if this is say this color is say C C is of course B or W then this color must be C this must be C this must be C that means all of the vertices have the same color and C can be B or W so this means we have uh, C to the 4 so and C can be uh, B or W so okay, let's try this this is 1 2 is this means 2 is B to the 4th plus W to the 4th okay 3 uh, X of fix row squared and again look at this now we uh, rotate this 180 degrees so this one will be we go to this vertex this vertex will go to this vertex and so on so if this color is C1 this color must be C1 too and if this vertex has C2 this must be C2 C1 and C2 are independent of each other so in this case the color the weight will be C1 squared and C2 squared okay that means 3 the sum in 3 C1 can be uh, either B or W so it's B squared or C W squared for C1 choice of C1 and for the choice of C2 we have the same situation B squared or W squared so it's going to be C uh, 3 and 4 the sum 4 is the same as the sum 2 so it's the same so here the weight enumerator is 1 over 4 so the four, 1 1 is P plus W to the 4th so it's P to the 4th 4B squared uh, cubed w 6b squared w squared 4b w cubed w to the fourth plus the 2 mm, 2 and 4 are the same so it's 2b squared plus w uh, b to the fourth w to the fourth and for 3 we have b squared w squared B squared W squared and if you compute this you can see that we get the same answer as before like here so this is a systematic way to compute the weight enumerator and in the next video we will learn uh, polya theory of enumeration and this is uh, basically the same thing but in a more convenient way or mo more convenient way of stating this uh, theorem okay this is the end of the video